And our first view from uh, cameras on the International Space Station of the Soyuz as uh, it continues uh, what so far has been a flawless approach for docking to the Poisk module. The two spacecraft uh, traveling 254 statute miles uh, just off the northeast coast of South America, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. At the bottom of your screen, uh, you're looking at the Zarya module, the first component, the first element of the International Space Station that was launched on November 20th, 1998, atop a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Its solar arrays folded like an accordion, uh, never to be used again. The uh, Zarya drawing power not only from the Russian segment through the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module, but also from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. We can see the docking assembly clearly. Yuri Malenchenko in the uh, Zvezda service module offering a quick greeting to uh, Novitsky, uh, indicating that uh, everything looks normal from their perspective inside the International Space Station. The two craft currently flying over Algeria. Bellas. 100 and 0.6 range, range rate. The target is stable and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station flying just to the north of Bucharest, the capital of Romania, at an altitude of 254 statute miles, 10 meters separating the two spacecraft. The target is low by a half degree. The crosshairs are aligned, a range approximately 7 meters. Copy 7 meters. The target is aligned and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Just four meters away, standing by for contact and capture. Range is approximately four. Copy. The target is at the center, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Proceed. The, the target is at the center. We are expecting a docking system engagement. Uh, we have docking confirmed, contact and capture confirmed at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 4.29 p.m. Moscow Time over the southern Ukraine. Three new residents have arrived at the International Space Station. The International Space Station and uh, flight controllers uh, in both Houston and Korolyov have put uh, the station in free drift, disabling any thruster activity to enable relative motion between the two spacecraft to dampen out for the initiation of the closing of hooks on both sides of the docking interface. Again, a flawless approach, a flawless docking for the Soyuz TMA-06M. Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Tarelkin have arrived at the International Space Station. Docking occurring at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 4.29 p.m. Moscow Time. Two.